The movie Margin Call is very unique. Unlike other movies about the 2008 financial crisis, like The Big Short or Too Big to Fail, Margin Call does not mention the real-life names of the characters. The movie does not even mention the name of the investment bank that was in trouble. So you have to kind of guess reality about the plot of the movie from the real-life events. Now, John Tull's character was the creation of Hollywood, but there were some real people whose actions and decisions matched the behavior depicted in John Tull's character. When you compare real-life events that happened in 2008 with the movie, you can guess that the investment bank shown in the movie was most likely Lehman Brothers. Some people say that the bank was Merrill Lynch, but you can 100% say that Merrill Lynch is not the bank in the movie, because during the fire sale scene, you can see that one of the agents calls Merrill Lynch to sell them the MBS assets. Merrill. Lawrence. Another proof that the bank in the movie was Lehman Brothers is that the bank in the movie had $1.2 trillion exposure to mortgage-backed securities. Now, the movie does not mention any number at all, but if you read the original script of the movie, you will see this $1.2 trillion number is mentioned by Peter Sullivan to John Tuld in the meeting. Surprisingly, when the Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy in September 2008, the creditors claimed $1.2 trillion from the Lehman Brothers. This confirms the bank in the movie was Lehman Brothers. There are also some guesses that John Told's character is based on the CEOs of multiple banks. The first one is Lehman Brothers, whose CEO was Richard Fold, and the other is Merrill Lynch, whose CEO was John Thane. You can see that the name John Told is a combination and slight variation of the names of these two CEOs. Both John Thane and Richard Fold were key people in the financial crisis of 2008, and their actions can set up a background for John Told's character. In the finance world, power is often consolidated in the hands of very few people, whose decisions can sway markets, economies, and the lives of millions. Similar to the character of John Tuld, these people operate behind closed doors, making high-stakes decisions that have far-reaching consequences. Now, before we go further, please subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about money and how different aspects of money work. Only the name John Tuld is the amalgamation of the two CEOs of different investment banks. However, the powerful and enigmatic character of John Tuld's actions bears a resemblance to the former CEO of Lehman Brothers. As the head of one of the largest investment banks, Richard Fold played a central role in the events leading up to the 2008 financial crisis. Let's see some similarities between Richard Fold and John Tuld's characters and actions. Lehman, under Richard Fold, kept selling these toxic MBS assets as they were extremely profitable. Similarly, John Told's firm also kept selling these toxic assets as they were very profitable. Packaging new MBS products that combine several different tranches of rating classification in one tradable security. Uh, this has been enormously profitable, as I imagine you noticed. I have. John Told initially refused to acknowledge how severe the situation would get and delayed taking action to address their financial problems. I mean, the numbers, they just don't add up anymore. I agree with you there. I've been saying that for years. This initial denial and delay ultimately led to the crisis and made it more difficult to recover. Similarly, in September 2008, there were instances where Richard Fold was perceived as not fully acknowledging the severity of the situation. Instead, he even expressed optimism about Lehman's ability to sustain the storm and downplayed the extent of Lehman Brothers' financial troubles. As you watch the movie, you learn that the bank has neglected the risk because it was buying home loans from commercial banks. Their bank bought these loans much above their risk limit. That's why you see Peter Sullivan explaining that a 25% decline in their asset will lead to a loss of more than the current market capitalization of their bank. If those assets decrease by just 25% and remain on our books, that loss would be greater than the current market capitalization of this entire company. 
Lehman Brothers was in a similar situation, and they also did not anticipate the risk properly. During the crisis, Lehman Brothers had a leverage ratio of about 30 times its equity. This means that for every dollar of equity, Lehman had $30 in assets. In simple terms, if Lehman had $1 of their own, then they borrowed $30 to invest in other assets. All this borrowing was done when Richard Fold was running Lehman. In the movie, similar borrowing is done when John Tuld was running the bank. Before the 2008 crisis, Lehman Brothers executives and leadership were constantly criticized for focusing on short-term profits instead of the long-term stability of the bank and investors' money. John Tuld, in the meeting, also placed a priority on short-term profits and sustaining the bank, regardless of whether his actions will have consequences in the long term for the bank. These are some of the similarities you will find between John Tuld's action and Richard Fold's approach during the 2008 crisis. During the 2008 crisis, almost all the key people on Wall Street behaved similarly. That's why not everyone agrees on the extent of the similarities between John Tuld and Richard Fold from Lehman Brothers. Some people say that John Tuld is more representative of Merrill Lynch's CEO, John Thane. As we already mentioned earlier, the bank in the movie is not Merrill Lynch, so John Tuld's character resembling John Tane has very few possibilities. Some people also believe that Tuld is a composite of several different Wall Street people. But the similarities and actions taken between Tuld and Lehman Brothers are kind of similar. So, a major part of John Tuld's character is influenced by Richard Fold. It is up to you to decide what to believe and how to relate John Tuld's character to any other person on Wall Street. Now, it is shown in the movie that the bank gets itself out of trouble after the fire sale. But in reality, the Lehman Brothers collapsed. The bank in the movie saves itself for the short term. In the long term, it might have collapsed. That last part is left to the imagination of the viewer. Overall, the movie tries to portray John Told as a typical big persona from Wall Street, who is powerful and authoritative, his decisions hold immense weight, and his presence commands respect. He is also ruthless in executing his decisions, prioritizing self-preservation and the survival of the institution over ethical considerations. He is also detached from the consequences of his ruthless decisions, which might affect other people badly. In the end, I just want to say Jeremy Irons played John Told's character perfectly. Every time he's on the screen, he just steals the show. The movie keeps you on the edge till the end, and John Told's character keeps you glued to the screen. We hope you now have some idea about the background of John Told. If you enjoyed this video, then you should also watch this video where we explain the Margin Call movie in detail. And if you want to learn more about the big short in the 2008 crisis, then you should watch this playlist.